Move off to a 4-0 start to the second half and trying for a two-game sweep of the prospects Friday night at historic Molar Field. But it wasn't a great start for Fremont. We go to the top of the first. Prospects already up 4 to nothing. It was a 3-2 from Vincent. Inside, ball four, got past Coleman. Run's going to score. And it makes it a 4-0 ballgame. Meanwhile, the Moo had trouble with prospects pitcher Cooper Katsky in his first outing of the summer. One ball and two strikes. The next pitch. Blount swings and pops this one up. Left side of the infield. Calling forward at third base is Bees. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. Top of the third. Prospects up four to nothing, and they do more damage. Here's the 0-1. Swung on and hit in the air to left. This one's hit deep. It's long enough. It's far enough, and it is gone. Bryce Waller has hit a two-run home run for the Nebraska prospects. And that now makes it a 6-0 prospects lead. But the next inning moved down 6-1 now, and Bridger Coleman has his biggest swing of the year thus far. No balls and one strike on Coleman. Here's the pitch. Swung on and hit high in the air. Left field, deep, high. It's a grand slam home run for Bridger Coleman. And that makes it a 6-5 ball game. Coleman got a pitch just above the hands, able to turn on it, and the Moo are right back in it. Bottom of the fifth, and the Moo take the lead after being down six to nothing. Forms three two, Bonner swings, pops this one in the air, shallow left center going out as Ashton Graf Row makes the catch, tagging his Meadows. He's going to score, and the Moo take the lead. But you can't count the prospects out. Top of the seventh, the prospects get a long sacrifice fly to tie things up. 3-1 pitch. Ramos swings and pops this into the air toward left. Brooks coming on over near the foul line, and he will make the catch. Runner from third is going to tag. The throw comes in, and scoring will be Skyler, and it's a 7-7 ball game after the sacrifice fly. Bottom half of the inning, Bridger Coleman gets his fifth RBI of the day, but in a slightly different fashion than the Grand Slam. We had a Grand Slam home run earlier. Coleman is two for three in the ballgame. The first pitch, and it hit him, and that's going to bring across a run. So Coleman gets hit by the pitch, and Fremont now in front by a score of eight to seven. And then in the bottom of the eighth, Colin Pitts makes a big swing for his first home run of the season. Two another count. Next offering, Pitts swings, hits it high in the air, deep to left, and the move who doubled the lead. Colin Pitts has gone yard. What a story for this young man. He has battled through injuries, hasn't been able to play hardly at all, and he's got power, and he showed it right there as he homers to left field, and the Moon now lead it 9-7. to seven. The prospects get it within one in the top of the ninth. Hughes has a sign. Here's the pitch. Waller swings and hits this ball to center field. Meadows comes on. It's going to drop in front of him for a base hit. He will toss it back to the infield, and scoring will be B's, and it makes it a 9-8 to eight contest. But Theo Hughes closes it out on the mound. Here's the 2-2. Did he go? Yes, he did. Strike three. Coleman will have to pick up the loose ball. Throws it down to first. Fuccino has it. And the ball game is over, and the Moo win it. Moo, a 9-8 winner. Now seven straight wins for Fremont. Bridger Coleman finishes the day with five RBIs, four of them coming off of his grand slam. Uh, it felt really good. I just kind of thinking, you know, no moment too big. Just kind of trying to relax and you know, do what I can do. So... Definitely a Moo look for an eighth straight win as they start a two-game set with the Casper Spuds. Game one from Historic Molar Field Saturday at 7.05 p.m.